Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Woki, and I'm back with some Dragalia Loss. If you did not see my summon video, you should check it out. But based on this, you can tell that I got Gala Alex on it. So today's video, I'm going to be using Gala Alex, trying to like, in best way in the world I can, articulate what she does. So yeah, that's today's video. I hope you liked it. If you currently have Alex and you've been playing around with her, how you were finding her, is she's too confusing? Did you catch on to it real quick? You know, tell me all that stuff. Now before we begin, I'm going to pull up a chart real quick, one moment. Alright, we're back. Okay. So this was a chart, I believe, I don't know if it was made by, but it was definitely posted on the Reddit by Gar Garfo2. It's one of the things that's top up there on the Reddit, so shout out to them for making it. And in general, you should check out the Dragale Reddit, it's a really fun place. There's occasionally talking about um, unit stuff and then also just memes, and like most Reddits I guess. Anyway. So this is kind of like what you go for. This is the thing I've been kind of using, is that you can see here, max out skill. So the problem with Gal Alex is that when you try and read it, it reads like a freaking Yu-Gi-Oh paragraph. So, but here's a very basic breakdown. Is your max skill reserved? Okay, so you have a maxed out skill reserved. Is the enemy poisoned? Yes. If yes, use Crisis Edge. If they have a buff, no. Are they in break state? If the answer is yes, then you use the other move, which is the Umbral Eraser. And if the answer is no, you keep using Crisis Edge and so on and so forth and that goes for both of them basically for the most part i've been starting off using umbra eraser because they always for the most part don't start off poison i'll put it off the screen now and i should mention as you can see from my team here i do not have a very good team like um i say that say having um nefaria and ayasu but their mana circles aren't complete yet He's on Yasu's barely at like level 90 out of 95. He's he has like um, five more to go. Nafaria doesn't have anything to go. I'm just using her to, there to remind myself, hey, she's next if when I get it. And then of course, Cleo has actually been the one unit that's been carrying me this entire time until I pull Gal Alex. So this is the kind of team I this is the shadow team I'm rocking because that's the one I have. Now I will use Cleo to eventually get. Um, Alex more powerful and stuff like that, but here's another thing. So I wanted to show off um, Extreme Kai because that's going to be one of the main things you're going to be using her for <laughs> for the most part, especially with the fact that she can dispel on her skill switching between skill one and two. The problem is, is that I don't have enough might. I need a little bit more might, at least maybe a thousand more might before I can actually, um, I can beat it, but the problem is, is that it's too slow. At that point, I would just use my, my Cleo over here. Um, but yeah, I'm going to show off Alex. I'm going to show off her moves real quick. And we're going to do that by going into the Mercury Gauntlet. Uh, Mercury Gauntlet is a good way to just kind of show it. Because that's what Lerp told me. Because Lerp said, like, I was like, how do I practice? And he's like, just use Mercury Gauntlet. I was like, all right, you're right. I'm not high up, but the Mercury Gauntlet is in still fact um, higher than me. Well, it was beforehand. Anyway, we're going to go in. And I'm going to try not to drag in at all, just to show off her kind of like combo moves and stuff like that. So if you're wondering like, oh, you, I could be doing this better and if I fail, the reason is, is that I want to specifically stick to Alex's combos and stuff. No dragon. Even if I'm about to lose. All right, so let's see. Oh, God. Start with turning that off. Okay. As you can see here, it's at the two. I'll activate this for my attack speed up. And then I'll start this. And we're going to go into this because I actually want to lower their defense as well. So now I'm going to go into poison stuff, poison stuff. And so now that they're perfectly poisoned, I'm going to actually start lowering defense, lowering defense. And trying to keep both of them at maximum stacks as possible, keeping an eye on that. Go there, go Umbral Racer. And now that he's close to break state, I'm actually going to wait. There we go. And then I'm going to take advantage of the fact that it's in break state and go back to back. Back to back, okay. Now I'm gonna wait a bit, and then go this one, and then this one right here. Huh. So that's kind of like how you want to go for. The one thing that Mercury Gauntlet doesn't, the Mercury Gauntlet, the one thing the Gauntlet specifically doesn't train you for is the fact that sometimes you want to dispel at the same time. Um, so I'm gonna jump into Kai. It's gonna be standard though, and let's see if I can run into a, Pretty decent team. So yeah, that was the Mercury Gauntlet. As you can see there, that's the kind of like flow I've been trying to get used to. And as far as your combo attacks, actually, let me just show this off using, um, because the good way of showing it off is IO, I believe. So I'm going to go into IO, Pure Onslaught, 
light. Because Alex has something that's different from all other sword users. And I'll see if I can show it off here. And hopefully I don't start in 2x speed and see where I'm in super crazy grind mode, so that's why it's like on that currently. But let's see. Okay, so here's the thing. Um, Alex starts with a lunge forward, so which is completely different from the way others do it. Like most, it kind of feels like at times, like especially the way she's like crazy jutting forward, it kind of reminds me of a, a spear force strike. But as you can see there, she literally went flying and this is something that is actually kind of hard to get used to with Alex. I also wasted that skill completely. Is that sometimes when you're fighting multiple enemies is that she'll just go flying off into the wrong direction. Now that this person's in break state, they are dead. But that's what I kind of wanted to show. All right, now we're going to jump into Evolk. I would show off Standard Jupiter, but I'm not comp confident enough in Standard Jupiter. And currently, the main thing you want to grind in general if you have dark units is is Kai. Because Kai gives you the good stuff. It has a good tree. It has a lot of like, the Gigito weapons, which are fantastic. As you can tell, she has an Agito weapon. And the reason is that I'm actually super able to farm Kai on extreme, extremely easy with Cleo, so I figure like, hey, whatever. So let's go into Aikido, go here. Again, I'm going to use standard, because in my practice runs, I was able to beat it after my third try, um, but it's just better for start with standard. That's where I'm more confident, and I'm going to see if I can show off the dispel on her, on her stuff right there. But currently, I'm really liking her a whole bunch. Um, she an plays Funky. An escort mission? Is in, it? An escort mission? Is everyone just gonna be all Alex? Because I think that would be great an if everyone was just Alex. Is everyone is Alex. <laughs> Oops, all Alex. Let's go into it, dude. Just do it. It's standard. It's not the hardest thing in the world. Come on. People wondering. We can totally beat it. And this is also gonna be great because it's gonna be in constant state of poison and everything else. So, we are Agito. We are Agito. Ah, uh, go here. The one thing you notice is I don't really force strike with her a bunch. I think you don't need it, but okay, just to keep up with her having a potential. Um, there we go. Umbro erasure. Uh, that was for a dispel. So not the greatest, smartest move in the in the world, but again, this is the part where it's like. I have to start learning because... Okay, perfect. And then... Done. Okay. Gets rid of the shield. Fun. Easy. And then I'll go here. And then I'm gonna go dragon because that's gonna... Oh, did I die? Damn it! That was the thing I was trying to prevent. By the way, you should not go for Alex. You definitely 100% need a healer. Okay, so I'm gonna just run off. Oh, and I lost my freaking dragon because of that? That's weak. We're gonna run another one because I didn't realize how bad everything. They got this basically already. But because of my death, I wasn't able to drag it in time. I just completely died. Come on. But yeah, you kind of get Alex. I think she's extremely good. The only problem is actually learning her. And so it's kind of one of those things of like, you have to have not a mastery of the game because I don't think you need a mastery to play like Alex super easily um what you do need is um what's the right word for it you have to understand that there's going to be some learnings with this character and i think currently the the one thing i saw from the dps chart is just from just spamming skill one over and over again so this person's not going to ready up so we're going to go in here and i'm going to do this one because i swear to god i can actually beat cayenne with um with alex <laughs> I'm not going to end it like Lin, Lin Yu, where I didn't get a single win at all. Alright, come on. We got this. This is like an excellent team comp. I don't know what you're doing not readying up. Oh, coward. Cowards, everyone. Just play, man. It's standard. It's not hard. We literally just beat it with four Alexes. And that was with us half dying the entire time. The power of the tutelary is yours. Perfect. Come on. Okay, I was about to say. Alright, let's jump into it. 
So the one thing I'm waiting for Agido specifically is that I'm waiting for the 2x speed before I start using any skills at all. In general, you want to wait till you have at least two bars, because their entire thing is about chain comboing. If you don't have the chain combo, then don't bother. Another thing is that if there's already a dedicated poisoner on the group, then you don't have to worry about applying poison yourself. I will be your extinction. Yes. Okay. I will teach you the way of evolution. Okay. See, like, I'll be able to use... Go up here. Go here. Oh, come on. Did that hit me, really? Okay. Then we're gonna go here. Then we're gonna go here. Okay, perfect. Go in here. He should be going for the middle attack now, I think. No, he's gonna go this, so I'm gonna go this, and then I'm gonna go... Get rid of that. Come on. Get away! <laughs> I will say the lunge is very good for getting back into the enemy. Go. Go here. Perfect. Oh, so I have that. Perfect. And then another Crisis Edge. Oh, I should be using my dragon for this specific part of the fight. So I am. As much as I just want to do nothing but Alex Showcase, I need to make sure to also get this. So one thing to keep in mind for this one at least, for Agito, is that you need to keep an eye on for when he's going to have the shield up. And when you can, make sure to spell it right away. So now I'm going to go in here, and then boom, it's gone. Oh, come on. We're not going to be able to overdrive him in time. Okay, let me see. Three. Crisis Edge. Crisis Edge. And then I'm going to stop and go here to create a new chain. And that should be him dead. That should be him dead right here. Come on! There we go. So yeah, that's kind of Alex. If you're going for it, definitely think she's a fantastic unit. I've been liking her a whole bunch. I just need to get her stuff up and ready so I can actually take her into harder events. And it's going to take a... Let me tell you, it's going to take a long time to actually get used to and be good with her. But once you kind of get the flow of her, I think she ends up being a really good unit. And I think an actual fun unit to use as well. She plays differently from all the other Gala units, which is good. She plays different from other sword units. Um, and yeah, that's basically it. That's uh, that's it for uh, using some good old Gala Alex. So until next time, everyone, remember, if you end up liking this video, leave a like. Tell me your thoughts on how you currently feel about Gala Alex. Are you still going for her? Are you waiting? What are you doing? Are you still trying to pull for Gleo? I think there's a, there's a good faction of people, which is fun, because when I read in the Reddit, there's still people, if you ever see that DPS chart, people going like, who's better, Gleo or Gal Alex? Gal Alex has so much DPS, but then people are saying, but Gleo literally does everything. And it's, it's an interesting conversation to have, you know? If you have thoughts about that, you can leave that too. But until next time, everyone, goodbye.